winter weather is moving in here in Oklahoma, I've been trying to mentally prepare for what I need to be doing. What do I need to be gathering? What is my family going to need in case the power does go out? I'm going to crack this door open. It is so cold out there. Can you guys see the cold? <laughs> Oh my gosh, the wind is howling. We've been renovating inside the house, so we've got junk everywhere. Patrick started the chicken coop, but that's for another day, guys. So today, I am going to start putting things out. So in case it does get ugly, I want to be ready for whatever happens. So it's recommended that you are ready for at least three days. Like, you could survive for three days. So I know we have plenty of food for three days, but I want to make sure we have enough water for three days for all of us. I want to make sure that our lamps are filled and our candles are ready to go in case the power goes out and already mentally prepare for it. If it don't happen, praise the Lord. But if it does, we'll be ready. The first thing you need to think of is heat, your heat source. Are you going to be able to stay warm? So if you have all electric heat, do you have a backup source? We have propane, so we'll be okay. If the electricity goes out, we will still have heat. So we would actually just block off this front part of our house and huddle in here and keep warm. The next thing you're gonna wanna think of is how am I gonna feed my family? How am I gonna cook? How am I gonna prepare meals? This keeps sinking. My tripod won't stay up. It keeps cutting off my head. Okay. So maybe you don't want to like prepare a whole meal, but you could do, you could have things on hand to make a one pot meal if you had a way to like a single burner propane stove that you could actually put a pan on and heat stuff up. So you would want to make sure that you have enough non-perishable items or um, canned food items that you could open and heat. That would be the easiest way. Just make that part easy on yourself. Our stores are currently all out of bread, so today I'm gonna to actually make some loaves of bread just in case we are out without power so that we'll have some kind of substance because then you can put jellies or butters on this bread. So if you're all electric, we are all electric. So we are gonna need another source of how to cook our food. So we have propane tanks that we could actually put a, our burner on. Also, we have the life dew that we can burn charcoal on in case we need to do that. Those are just some alternate ways that we would be able to cook our food, boil our water, and do those things. Water. Water is very important. So we have some of the one gallon containers from Walmart, but we also have one of the big five, I think it's five gallons that you feel yourself. So I'm gonna fill that with tap water and have that on hand just in case maybe our pipes freeze or something happens, we will have plenty of drinking water. Blankets, warm clothes, gloves, socks, essentials, beanies, you guys, just in case, you have to bundle up to keep warm. So gather up your blankets and make sure those are ready if you need them. You're also gonna wanna think about lighting. Um, do you have enough batteries? Do you have flashlights? Are your flashlights rechargeable? Do you need to be charging your things? So when the power goes out, usually that means we don't have internet and my camera is slowly going down, so I'm gonna hunch down. <laughs> so if we don't have internet, um, we're not able to keep up with the news and things. Us here, uh, Patrick and I, we don't have a satellite or cable, so we're kind of dependent on um, our phones to get the news. So we have this um, solar charger battery pack that we can plug our phones into and to keep them charged so that we can keep up with the weather situations. Entertainment. You guys ever think about entertainment? If you don't have internet, we don't have satellite or cable or anything, so if our internet's down, um, there's no way that we can actually know what's going on. We don't have um, a weather radio or anything, so that's something else. That would be something good to have would be a weather radio if the power goes out. Currently, we live in a world where our entertainment is all digital, all electronic, right? So we don't think about what we would do if our electric went out and we weren't able to entertain ourselves with, with the TV and all those things. So it's a good thing to have like puzzles, books, 
cards, board games, those kind of things. I don't think we have board games that actually have all the pieces to them. <laughs> the grandkids have found them and played in them. But we do have books. I believe we have cards. I'll have to check on that. There are things that we could do to stay entertained. So these are just a few little tips just to get you thinking about what you would do with your family if you had to prepare for a storm. There is so much more that you could do, um, but everybody's home and family lifestyle is so different. So it's according to what your family needs. We only have small animals to take care of. We don't have, you know, goats and cows and those kind of things. So if you do have animals and you do have a farm, your preparedness might look a little bit different than ours. I just want to make sure that my family's going to be warm, have food, and we'll be safe as we wait out this winter storm. And it may not be that bad. There may be some areas that hardly get anything and there may be some areas that are just blasted. It's the unknown that we're preparing for, which leads me into what Patrick always says, pray for the best and prep for the worst. Until next time, you guys, stay warm, keep safe. God bless. Have an amazing day.